again, I am Jim Bob and welcome back to Genesis Alpha 1. We have got everything kind of back to where it should be in terms of our supplies. If we take a look, you can see that everything has been processed through our refinery. Uh, so we've got plenty of sulfur, plenty of lithium in storage. We could do with making a few more barriers because uh, we have used up all the ones that we had to kind of put those checkpoints back in place. But I do have four on me. So it's not uh, a crying emergency just yet, as you can see. Uh, and I've also done a little bit of quick scanning in the area uh, and we've jumped around a little bit. So we were uh, up here, I think it was in this system. Uh, and I went up here to scan this one. And you can see we have a site in here. And then I came down and scanned here as well as you know these ones here. There's nothing in that site there. Uh, this one here, we go here where I jumped in. There's a couple of uh, systems with nothing in them, as you can see. There is a site here, and there's two in that one there. Uh, this one here has a site, uh, and this one here has a site. So we're going to be bouncing around these systems as quickly as we can to kind of just uh, discover what's in them. Uh, but the system we're in right now has got a couple of sites as well, so we're going to make our way through there. Let's just run our way down. I haven't been through the tunnels recently, so there could be... A lot of nastiness waiting for us down there. Hopefully we'll be alright, but let's see. We've got a site there. Iron. Got some lithium. Yep, we'll pull that up while we're down on the surface. Might as well. Uh, let's see. Sulfur and a site. We'll go to this planet first. Harvester destination set. There we go. Seven, six, five, four. I said we're going to be bouncing around these sites as quickly as we can. Uh, within reason. We'll still be picking up a few resources here and there along the way, but we're going to be looking to try and bounce through these sites relatively quickly because I want to start finding some really good upgrades. I want to find those upgraded Robotniks. I want to get those uh, uh, final upgrades for the Harvester. Yeah, maybe some uh, improved weaponry. Uh, oh, and we have got the turret upgrade uh, as well. I did, as I say, hang around on the planet um, while we are in that previous system, just hanging around a bit Killing off the Decker huh? and uh, picking up their loot drops. So uh, we have uh, rank one to uh, actually go ahead and do the cloning with. And uh, a couple of samples for rank two as well. I can't see what we're up against. Oh, there we go. Mantis. Uh, so we have, as I say, a couple of ranks of uh, level two Decker clones already as well. Uh, and we also have rank two for turrets available to research. So we'll do that research as soon as we get back to the ship. I forgot about that. Let's see if we can find what's available over here. I'm not seeing the site yet. Oh, there we go. Red beacon flashing away. It's a grave site. Are we going to get a useful schematic? Or are we going to get uh, something not so useful? Nearly done. There we go. It's a suit upgrade, which is kind of what I expected. It usually is. 5% uh, increase to health. Ah, nice. So we're up to 240 health now. Uh, and there was just the one site on this planet, so... Oh, there's an ability over there. Look. Well, there was. And it didn't actually drop the ability. That's a bit frustrating. They did drop a fair bit of uh, biomass, as you can see. Our turret is blasting away at the rear of the ship. Ooh, spiders again, look. Any other drops around here? Nope. Uh, I thought the crew might be done for a second there. They still need two more samples. see where they're coming from. Oh, there we go. Still one more out there. Oh. There we go. The crew spotting them before me there. Thank you very much, crew.
There we go. We'll just get back on board. We'll pick them off at the door. Excellent stuff. Right, so, uh, first planet done. We're not going to go back for that last little leftover bit. We're just going to move straight on to the next planet with the next site. This is what we want to do. We want to start bouncing around a bit more, a bit more quickly. We've been too uh, thorough with the way I think we've been uh, cleaning off these planets. So this is our next stop here. And what I'll probably do, actually, because we are a little bit short on lithium, is I will probably send the crew back out one more time afterwards to get the other four bits of lithium, just because it's uh, you know it's a quick job these days given the fact that our crew can uh, do those missions really, really fast now with that uh, previous upgrade we got. Just got to wait for the ship to clear. Resources collected. And there go the Robotniks. Harvester so let's go here. And fingers crossed, as I say, we'll get something good. I can't really grumble at an extra 5% health, really, can I? I mean, it's given us an extra 10 health points. So I can't really grumble about that too much. Right, uh, really hard to see with the torch on, so we'll have to turn that off. It's one of these foggy planets. Let's see what we can see. It's really foggy look. Hardly see a thing. Oh, there we go. Crashed harvester. Any ammo boxes or anything? It doesn't look like it, does it? trying to climb on top of it and it won't seem to let me. No, we've moved too far away from it. There we go. If you move too far away from the uh, access point, which in this case is here, then it stops scanning. Alright, something's coming. I don't know what it is. That does not help. I don't know which direction it's coming from. Oh, there we go. Spiders. What do we got? A suit upgrade again. Uh, ooh, suit upgrade vial for gas consuming weapons. 5% increase. So that's our flamethrower. Nice. We get a little bit toastier with our with our torture. We've got spiders. I can't again, I can't see them. They're under the ship somewhere. They're in the trees. The glare from the I can't see a damn thing. Where the hell are they? Oh, there. Right on top of me. And again, we're not getting any ability samples, which is frustrating. Are we done? Not yet. Try and speed things up a bit. There we go. Let's make our way back. And uh, launch. Yeah, those flashing lights. <laughs> Just making it so hard to see anything. But that's the second planet done. So we're pretty much done with this system. Uh, although we are in the middle of trying to pull stuff up. And we are going to send the harvester out one more time. So almost done. The away mission will be fast. Nothing came back. New materials have been refined. Resource 
Ooh. How are our turrets doing in here? These are running low, remember. That one's still there. 85 rounds. Up top should be okay. 35. Oof. And 80. So yeah, running out. Still scanning away there. So we'll let them finish off while we send this harvester out one last time. And then we'll jump straight to the next system. And uh, start tagging the sites in there as well. We're going to do little sort of hit and run raids on these local systems. Because we're not really hurting for resources, as you can see. I mean, I'm, I'm boosting our lithium supplies a little bit. But uh, it's... It's not a major issue. We don't need the iridium. We don't need any copper or anything like that. So send them out quickly to grab that lithium there. How are we doing in here? Aluminium there, which we don't need. About halfway through this lithium. Let's help speed that up a little bit. And we'll untick that as well. Don't need that anymore. And there is that three lithium on another planet, which we could go back for, but we won't. Like I said, we're just going to hit and run this system as quickly as we can. New materials have been I'm all about the, opening the boxes now. Resources Sounds like the harvester's back, and we are done in here. There we go. Ah, no, it was something that's sneaking up from returned. in here. Okay, that's dealt with. Harvester is back. I've got to wait for that to finish unloading before it can be sent out anywhere. That's fine. Gives us time to pick the next system. So, in here, I think we've got... A, was it this one? No. Nope. Double sight there. Nothing in that one. Nothing in that one. See what I mean? There's, there's nothing in these uh, systems. You know, so uh, I think this is where we started down here as well. So I don't think there's any sites left over here. There might be one site left, perhaps. There's a site there. Uh, we'll work our way down. Uh, but for now, we're going to hit... Where is it? This one here. So let's launch. Two sites on this planet. Hopefully one of those will be something very special. New materials have been refined. I keep saying that every time, don't I? <laughs> I keep wanting it to be true. I keep wanting our next site uh, to be something a little bit special. We can uh, just live in hope, can't we? Right. Uh, off we go. Oh, and there's sulfur here as well, which is always helpful. Oh, we still haven't done the research. Ah, yeah, okay, that's something else to do when we get back. Because we'll probably send the harvester out on its own without us. Must remember, do the research. Get those turrets upgraded. Until then, two sites to go looking for. Just gonna add a bit more ammo. There we go. Torch makes barely any difference at all. There's a monolith. Okay, so we're probably not gonna get a harvester or a robotnik upgrade from that. More likely a location or a Tom's voyage. Just looking to see if I can see if we might have something big and visible. I just can't see through the gloom. Oh, we're getting beam in. Ah, that's interesting. Decca. Could we get more turret upgrades, perhaps? I wonder. What do we get? Moros. Ah, so that's what those are called. I've always wondered. Ah, uh, we 
we've got some energy cells. I think it was energy cells. I didn't actually look. But nothing else. Oh, there's our site. 20%. There's, uh... Man, uh, not Mantis, Crawl here by the sound of it as well. 60%. I don't see anything in orbit. Oh, there it is, way up in the top, look. It's a disc, which means Tom's voyage. Yep, it's an old sort of <laughs> old style five and uh, five and a quarter inch floppy. More crawl. Ah, there we go, Decca. I just saw a DNA fragment drop. A couple of DNA fragments. So there we go, up to rank five or part, you know, five way, halfway through getting the next level of clone done. One more sample needed to uh, finish off on this planet. More Decca. No DNA samples this time. They're not dropping turret upgrades either, which I'm kind of not surprised by. I mean, again, we're still in low difficulty area, so uh, to get a level 3 turret, we're probably going to need to go to a much more dangerous planet. DNA. Yep, managed to get it. Alright, so we have research that we must go and do. We'll do that. We'll see if we need to send the harvester out somewhere else, first of all, just to get some supplies while we're busy researching. Anything come back? No. Okay. Uh, anything that we can use the tractor beam on? Lithium. Oh, lots of lithium, actually. New materials have been refined. There's some lithium there. Some sulfur there. Yeah. We'll do that. Let's go get that uh, lithium beamed up first of all. It does not hurt to have that extra little bit of lithium uh, for our barriers because I mean they're 1200 now but there are still some of the earlier the lower strength barriers on board the ship and when they go it'll be quicker <laughs> than, quicker so, the, rather than later so uh, stocking up on lithium is always a good idea. Plus if we want to create a checkpoint we need up to four barriers for one turret so again it just kind of makes sense to have that little bit extra right uh, weapon research first of all we've got a bit of weapon research that needs to be done uh, you can see we have the power shotgun which we need to research up to level two that's from our many uh, encounters with the Freeman. Uh, defenses, research the turrets up to level 2. That one I've been waiting for for a long time. Uh, we'll construct a couple more barriers. Ammo. Am I good for ammo? Resources collected. Get some more heavy caliber. Weapon added. Alright, there we go. Ooh, trophy. Weapon researcher. Very nice. So we have the power shotgun too. I actually do like this. I might want to put that on my uh, my weapon New rack for a bit. Let's take the acid thrower off the rack. I'm going to put the power shotgun on there. There we go. And let's switch Access out trend. the laser rifle for the power shotgun. There we go. Meta item unlocked. General ballistics level 2. That's weapon for doing enough weapons acquired. up to level 2. Very, very nice. And obviously, to get enough weapons up to level 3 uh, will, will be what unlocks uh, the next... Uh, Meta Corporation item. They're back from that lithium jaunt over here. I 
it's going to be a little while to clear out the uh, lithium from the teleporter so we may as well grab that sulfur as well we'll help out in here with scanning New materials have been refined. Kind of looking forward to trying out the new shotgun in here. Sure, something will get brought up with the beam. Resource beaming complete. This is more of a, a close range weapon. Resources collected. The uh, the standard shotgun is for sort of uh, more mid range combat. This one is aimed much more for for close quarters combat. So again, this is another good weapon for taking into the tunnels with you because it does a lot of uh, a lot of damage at short range but for long distance sniping it's not perhaps the best you know you're much more better off with something like a heavy caliber machine gun or a laser rifle or energy rifle something like that something with a good distance profile this yeah, very much keyed for close range stuff so face to face in the tunnels or Resource something uh, like a, a ship combat, you know, if, uh, if stuff gets through your initial defences. The harvester should be back by now, by the sound of it. It is. And they've cleaned out whatever they came back. It's those guys, the Moros. We've got a DNA sample. New materials Another Dekar sample. So we're almost getting ready to get them up to level 2 as well. Let's go do their research as well. Resources. We have one. I thought we had one come up here for a second then. I can see the turret. Maybe we had a body there and it disappeared as I turned around. But let's unlock the Dekar clone. Processing. Still need some more liquid samples. Look. New materials have been refined. There we go. Uh, and we, uh, we are in a position where we could add more crew in, I suppose. Let's see. Uh, what's our atmosphere capable of supporting? Another four crew members. It's been a while, actually, since we put any crew on. It kind of went a little bit crazy for a while. So, uh, uh, for Emilio... Quite a long time ago, Emilio actually messaged me and asked if he could put his kids onto the uh, onto the crew. And uh, at the time, I didn't have space for both of them, and I want to do them both at the same time. So uh, we'll do that now. Uh, we'll add in both um, both members at the same time. So let's go human. We want one male and one female. There we go. So this is going to be Lethia and Joseph, our two new crew members. And these guys, as I say, have been on the standby list since, I think, the start of uh, our version 2 playlist. Cloning done. So, uh, definitely time for uh, some new faces, I think. Here comes our first. So let's just rename Bishop. There we go. Joseph version 1. Congratulations, Joseph. You are on the crew. And your sister, uh, Lethia, is on the way as well. New crew member added. Got to find a couple of uh, spaces for these two. Give them something to do. So, Dean is now Lethia. There we go. I tell you what. Let's also fill up those last two spots that we've got as well. With uh, who's next on the list? Randy and Craig want to come back so let's bring back uh, Randy and Craig cloning cloning initiated let's speed that process up a little bit
new clone has been welcomed. Now, as I say, we have a little bit of time while we're uh, beaming on that lithium from the teleport room. There we go, so Randy's back. You see Dory New clone died right. on Planet Fall, I think. And uh, when I brought her back, put her in here to help speed up our, uh, our regeneration process of the, cr of the crew, because we had several, cr <laughs> several clones New that we needed to create in, in quick succession. There we go. And Baxter is now going to be Craig. There we go. So, four new faces for the crew. As I say, it's been a little while since we had anyone in. Uh, I need to assign them all jobs. Uh, let's see. The hangar. We we'll use that to shortcut down to the workshop. There are three slots in the workshop, and only one of them is using, being used at the moment. So let's put uh, Joseph and Lethia Jarvis in here side. with Binny. Keep the brother-sister team together. And they can be responsible for uh, our weapon research and our turrets and barriers and stuff. Uh, where else can we put staff? I've got two available. Let's put one of them on the bridge. New materials Let's put Randy refined. on the bridge. Job assigned. I think. Yep, Randy's on the bridge. And then I should have done it while I was in the clone lab. Actually, uh, we'll put uh, we'll put Craig in the clone lab to fill up that third slot in there. There we go. So all of our crew are back in assigned positions. And we've cleaned out everything we wanted from this system, haven't we? Yeah, and we've beamed up all that uh, lithium as well. So we're ready to move on to the next system. New materials have been refined. Going after sites in quick succession again here. So next... I think is this site. Nope. We've got one up here. Just a single site. So we'll jump there. And our supplies now. Look at all that, all that lithium and all that sulfur. That's awesome. 24 lithium, 30 sulfur, plus another 8 waiting. And have our turrets been upgraded? Nope. Oh, yes, they have. Look, we've got a camo print. Uh, we don't have a turret left in here, do we? There's one down there. And there's still one there. Okay, so those are okay. You can see the difference there between a version 1 and a version 2 turret. So, do these still only have 600 rounds as well? They do. They just appear to maybe be a New bit tougher. Have been refined. Ah, that's a bit disappointing. Hmm. Is that all we get for version 2? It's just a, a, camo, a camo print. I'd be really disappointed if that's the case. Uh, lithium, iron, copper. Uh, we'll get the lithium. And let's go visit that site. Harvester destination set. See what wonderful stuff we can get from this planet. Come on. Come on, Robotnik. Come on, Harvester Upgrade. One of those two, and I'll be fine. We've got two different Harvester Upgrades we're looking for. The turret and the cargo capacity. Cargo capacity more than the turret at this point. Uh, and the Robotnik, so that we can unload our Harvester much, much faster than we are able to at the moment. So, any of those three upgrades. And when you factor in the fact that there are three different versions, at least three different versions of the upgraded Robotniks. The white ones, the black ones, and the pink ones. That means there's five potentials to choose from on this planet. Five chances. I don't know how many unlocks are left, but... Here we go, Crashed Harvester. There are five chances of getting something that would be really useful for us at this stage. Uh, anything in orbits? Doesn't look like it. So, I'm not expecting any beam in attacks. Which means no Dekar, no Freeman, no. Um, 
60%. And mechanics or anything like that. 80%. Oh, he actually hit me. Ah, uh, it's a weapon. Oh, it's the SA-1. That's not a bad, actually, uh, a bad weapon, actually, the SA-1. Don't really need it, though. We've got plenty of weapons to choose from right now. So, slightly disappointing. I mean, a weapon's a weapon. This would have been... Oh, I thought we've got hollows for a second then. It's not, it's just the light shining off our uh, crew's uniform. Wasn't quite sure what we were seeing. Worms! Oh, it's been a while since we've had worms. <laughs> I don't like the worms. And I need one more sample. There we go. Harvester's full. Time to leave. And again, we've got so much sulfur now that we don't need to come back and finish this planet off. We can just jump straight to the next system. Of course, it does mean that we're going to have to forfeit that lithium that we're trying to teleport in. Because that's a slow process, and it doesn't happen while we're away. You know, beam in stop while we're uh, off the ship, defined. so we are giving up the possibility of uh, a nice little Resources stash of lithium. Got one piece on board there. Let's uh, make our way to our beam in station. Oh, look at that. Fully upgraded and yet still damaged. Something's had a nibble. I'm stuck. There we go. Ah, beam in station. There it is. Oh, a shield to flare. Oh, of course, we're in a solar storm. Right, so, where next? Down there, we've got a site down there. Uh, what about the rest of the planets around here while we're up in this section? Did we clear all of these? I think we cleared Force most of them. Yeah. Okay, so we'll move our way down to here then. Resource acquired. Let's jump to there. And then jump to this system. New materials have What else is nearby? Anything? It's kind of near where we started, and you can see it's all been scanned. But there's no sites left for us to clean. Ah, now we're getting to an area where... We are getting some sights and some unscanned planets as well, and higher danger. Freeman lurking around there as well. Uh, or are they mechanics? No, uh, they're Freeman. So, there's the potential for an encounter. This site here is curious. There's nothing in that one that we haven't seen yet. Or something in there that we haven't seen yet. New materials have been refined. So we definitely need to get in there and scan that system. Oh, we've brought an infection back with us. Run straight over that one. Well, that looks like that's come from the hangar rather than from from over here. So, is the hangar going to be slightly infested? I don't see anything. Materials have been refined. Oh, there it is. Maybe it's come from the teleporter then. From the transport beam of our uh, tractor room. Yeah, I want to get this one taken out quickly. Life 
It's certainly snuck on somewhere, isn't it? You can see we've got this stuff spawning again. That shotgun's a one-shot kill at close range against these uh, spawns. But that's a separate uh, thing. That's stuff that's come back from from samples. It's not the uh, infection that we brought back. The infestation. That's separate. Not quite sure where that's come from. But I think we've managed to deal with that before it got too out of control. So we'll uh, head down to planet side. Attack this site. It's a monolith. That's not a good sign. Accessing archives. This is yeah. So these are usually location datas. Twenty percent. And not for yeah you know, for items. It's it's location information 20%. for a race usually. frame and locations. What's our close... Oh, it's the Moros. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Just snipe these guys at distance and then one gets close and just explodes with one shot from the power shotgun. Oh, I love that gun. Right in the face. Oof. Beautiful stuff. At close range, this thing is deadly. There we go. Didn't realise. Yep, there it is. You can just see it. Didn't realise we were getting beaming attacks on this planet. Alright, harvester's full. Time to go. So we need to start jumping around again to find some more sites. Uh, I am intrigued by that uh, that uh, high and critical danger system that we saw that was completely unknown to us. We didn't know anything about that one, so there could be could be a lot of sites in there. I hope oh, something snuck on board. More of these green guys. Forgotten their name. New materials have been refined. Ooh. Got a, an, an energy cell drop. Nice. Uh, ba, 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 ba. So, let's find another system. What if that was for a second? It's a turret. Should know that. <laughs> it's in one of our self made checkpoints. Right. We need to jump in range to be able to scan it. So if we jump to this system here, because there is a site in there, we're still far enough away from the framing that we should be okay without getting boarded or attacked. While being able to scan with our two bridge crew members, they'll be able to scan the other system and let us know what's in there. So we'll run just because it provides a little bit more scan time for our staff. New materials have been refined. There we go. And uh, what's on that system is out of interest? Sulfur, iron, uranium. Okay. Uh, what have we got here? 
copper, nitre, and a site. Let's get some copper, because we're going to need the copper if we want to continue reinforcing other modules. We've only reinforced about a third of the ship, I think, so far. And uh, our copper supplies are running a little low, so we'll, we'll choose the copper. Right, fingers crossed time again. I really do want something good from one of these. It could be anything. I'm hopeful. Always overly optimistic <laughs> about my chances of getting a good upgrade. Anytime we come to a planet with a site, I'm like, is this going to be the one? Are we going to get something good? And I'm always disappointed. Uh, almost always. Every now and again, I'll get something that'll surprise me. Hollows sneaking through. Did that, was that a, a drop? Laser rifle 2. I was hoping that might be turret 3 for a moment then. There we go. Crashed harvester just hit. There's the, uh, the beam in. And uh, we've got some hollows over there. Look. Try and take them out from distance if I can. There's some going for the ship as well, look. Just see them over there. And more beaming in over there. So these guys are coming in quite fast. Out of my range, I can't help. What do we get? Ah, uh, a Genesis candidate. That's not bad, but not what I was hoping for. lot of corpses. Oh, we've got these creatures here as well. A lot of corpses to sift through, see if we can get some uh, weapon drops. There we go. So we need one more sample actually for these uh, hollows to unlock their clone genome. Laser rifle 7 of 10. Getting closer with that too. Might be worth sticking around here for a moment. Oh, there we go. And there's our hollow and two more samples. For the laser rifle. Ugh, coming in thick and fast, look. Wow. Hollow 2. Laser Rifle 2. Laser Rifle 3. Oh, wow. And still they're spawning in like crazy. I might stick around on this planet for a minute or two. Look at all these drops we're picking up. I saw that one glow red for a minute. I thought we might have a new ability. Stuff spawned in near the back of the harvester as well. Let's go see what got uh, taken out by the turrets, if anything. Bit of DNA. Oh, I'm sorry, biomass. Oh, look at this, laser rifle three is halfway there already. Um, you know what? We're almost out of time, but I'm going to stick around on this planet and uh, just keep taking out these waves of hollows as they come in. Uh, get that laser rifle ready to upgrade to level 3 and hopefully see if I can get my clone samples for hollow up as well. Ah, get me a gun with some ammo. Not good at range. I'm going to need to go get some ammo. But yeah, I'm going to stick around on this planet for a bit longer. Just... Uh, grabbing samples like this and uh, when we come back 
we will uh, carry on sight hopping. So uh, that's it from me. Thanks for watching. I am Jim Bob, and I'll be back with some more Genesis Alpha 1 very soon.